All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and shoot straight from the hip. I'm gonna tell you guys uh, one way uh, how to reprogram the subconscious mind. And I'm going to tell you this way. It is the way I have completely transformed myself over the years using programming techniques to reprogram my subconscious mind. You see, the subcon your subconscious mind runs pretty much all your life. Like 95 to 99% of your life is being run by your subconscious. It is not by your conscious mind. Example, sometimes you may think you understand something, right? Like you may, you may hear some information uh, and be like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm never gonna do that again. You may hear something like, oh, um, uh, you know, you may hear like a lecture on why you should never fry your food because frying foods, you know, creates like, oof, oof, all kinds of toxic chemicals and cancer causing chemicals and, and free radicals. Oh boy, you know, I know there's a lot of diet wars out there, but for the most part, everyone agrees, do not fry your food. Okay, for the most part, because this is like, you know, it's indisputable knowledge. So let's say you hear it. Let's say you're addicted to fried foods. Let's say like, since you were a child, you've been eating fried chicken, fried vegetables, fried everything. And you hear a lecture on it and you say, wow, I didn't know. I'm not going to eat fried foods anymore. And you, you go the next day, you wake up. Day one, no fried foods. Day two, no fried foods. Day three, no fried foods. Right, let's say you start on a Monday, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh my God, you did so good four days. Then day five, your friends call you and they say, well, we're, <laughs> we're about to go watch the game. There's a game, it's a basketball game. Uh, and yeah, we're going to KFC. I mean, KFC doesn't show them. I don't know. Uh, you get my point, you get my drift though. Let's go to uh, Boston Pizza, right? I think it's a Canadian thing, right? Let's go to Boston Pizza uh, and you sit down and your friends order stuff and you're like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to get fried foods. And you just get like, you know, whatever. You get like baked, baked, whatever, baked potatoes, etc. But your friends, they've got the, the fried stuff, the fried chicken wings and, and the fried everything, you know, fr French fries and everything. And you're sitting there and then, <laughs> you know, and then your friend, you know, has like a lot of French fries and he's like, oh, you want some? You just have, I, I don't even know why I ordered them. And then <laughs> you're like, eh, no, no, no. You start to eat your food and then like five minutes later, you're all over the French fries. But why? Because your subconscious, since you were a child, your subconscious have been programmed to crave fried French fries and fried foods. You did not actually grasp the knowledge that was in the lecture because you only grasp it at a conscious level. So our subconscious mind runs our entire life. Your entire life, 95 to 99% of it is run by it. Your, now, but here's the thing though. In that situation, your conscious mind picks up on the knowledge, says, ah, fried foods are going to give me cancer. I don't want to do them anymore. Okay. Here is where you use your conscious. Your con you, you consciously decide, I do not want to eat fried foods anymore. But if you don't do the work to reprogram the subconscious, so you consciously say, you grasp the idea, no more French fr uh, uh, fried foods, and you work with it on your subconscious to actually change your behavior. Okay? So we, we grasp, let's say you don't want to smoke, same thing. First, you grasp the idea with your conscious mind because maybe you grasp some information, some knowledge, some wisdom. You've got a revelation. You've got a calling, an urge. I gotta stop smoking. I gotta stop eating fried foods. And yeah. So how do we do that? How do we actually make practical changes? Well, there are many ways. I'm going to give you the way that has worked for me for the last 10 years. And I, believe me, I have been making videos now for uh, like eight years or something. Mm, a lot of you guys don't know, I used to have a fitness channel, got it up to 100,000 subscribers, and I deleted it, it's, it's, you cannot find it, but I've been in the YouTube game for a while. But before I started YouTubing, now I am pretty uh, outspoken and confident uh, in making these videos, it should be, it's self-evident, I don't, I, don't I don't need to say it, I've been in the game a long time, you simply, uh, become better at something if you do it for, for a longer period of time, okay? But 
if someone told me one day you're going to be a YouTuber and you're going to be very comfortable and confident in making videos, I would have called them liar, 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 your panties on fire. Okay, that's what I would have said. Because I had a period of time in my teenage years and a little bit into my early 20s where I was quite a shy person. Shy, I didn't speak my mind. I had lots of insecurities about my physical appearance, about many, many different things, okay? I used to have a lot of acne, etc. I had a lot of insecurities and I was shy and I couldn't really speak my mind. But I began after reading uh, uh, Napoleon Hill's uh, Think and Grow Rich, I, for the first time in my life, was introduced to the idea that I can change myself, I can change my behavior. Because I thought in my teenage years, in my early 20s, you are who you are. That's who you are. You're a shy person, you'll be a shy person forever. You, uh, and I wasn't shy in my childhood years, but something happened in my teenage years. So I thought, okay, you're shy, that's it. You're, you're shy forever. Uh, and I just thought you stay with you, what your behavior is forever. But then I was introduced, I started to get into this ideas that you can, you can change your subconscious mind. And I started to work with this little by little. And eventually I changed so many of my behaviors I used to be really, really shy around uh, women uh, because uh, I grew up in a Middle Eastern society where it's almost pretty much forbidden to communicate with the opposite sex unless it's like absolutely necessary. Like, let's say, you know, you go to a doctor, she happens to be a female, you need, you need some, something from her, like, because, you know, she's a doctor. But it's pretty much forbidden to communicate with the, with the opposite sex just for fun. Or recreation so I grew up I had like lots of insecurities around women I was shy I changed all of that through uh, working with my subconscious mind and changing the, the behavior uh, and I changed many 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 things over the years so I, w this way all right we took seven minutes here but but and I'm now about to tell you what to actually do but hey you have to understand how critical it is how your subconscious mind the programs in there run your entire life so how did I do that what's the way I used and how do you how do you can you do this so simply put I got introduced to binaural beats. Binaural beats is a sophisticated technology where you put, you have to put it in your ears, you have to put earphones or headphones in your ears, you have to listen to, to, to the frequencies. They're simply frequencies being sent into your ears and they synchronize the right side with the left side of your brain and they basically put you in a state of flow and, 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 and if, you know, they put you in a state of, you have different brain waves. Beta is chaos, alpha, you're more relaxed. Theta is where you want to get to, to do deep subconscious programming. So these binaural beats are very effective at getting you into deep states of meditation, into the theta state. In that state, you're wide open. Uh, like children, the reason why children are so easy to, uh, to, to brainwash and program is because from about age, uh, I can't remember that exactly, but in your early years, in your early years as a toddler, you're basically always operating in theta wave. The controllers of this matrix, the, the, the evildoers, they know this, so they brainwash the shit out of children with all kinds of things, okay? Then you get a little older and you, you're in alpha state, then you're in teenage years, you get into the beta, okay? So, theta, you're a wide open to receive. Just plant the seeds and they'll grow, okay? And that's what these binaural beats are very effective at doing. So, the way I did this and the way I'm doing it right now because there's always programs I'm working with, you put these binaural beats. Now there's so many uh, on YouTube. Just go and look up. And if something resonates with you, you listen to it. You feel nice, calm, relaxed. Just listen to that one. Try it out. See how it works. Uh, and uh, and yeah. So what you do is the first 10-15 minutes, you just pay attention to the sounds. You focus on relaxing your breathing. And after about 15 minutes, you visualize what it is the outcome that you want to achieve. And here's my recommendation. Do not have 10 things to change at a time. Work with one thing at a time. I'm going to give you a recent example here, all right? A recent example is, I have been going through a period of a slump in my life where, you know, you guys who watch my videos regularly, you've seen in the, in the last few months, I barely made videos, right? I've kind of just been hanging out in this cabin, not doing much, even like stopped going for walks. I stopped taking cold showers and cold dips in the river. 
I was just kind of going through a bit of a slump. I guess I needed to just kind of do nothing for a little while. I needed it. I have been so active in my life for the last 10 years. I needed to just do nothing. And it was amazing and rejuvenating, but at the same time, I began to grow, to grow uh, uh, dissatisfied with the way my, my life has turned into in, 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 in towards the end of this period of just doing nothing right so I'm like all right I've got to do something now I've got to make a change so I worked with one thing only I'm like we've got to meditate now so I introduced meditation into my life I started to do the binaural beats meditations and humming and then I made this a habit after two weeks of doing this it became second nature to me I was like on to the next change what do I want I want to start going for walks again so I'm, I, I go into the binaural beats 15 minutes then I visualize myself going for walks every day the minute I wake up and I start to just like reprogram. I'm like, Saeed, from now on, every day, the minute you wake up, you go for walks. The minute you wake up, just go, don't even drink. No drinking, nothing. Just go for a walk. And lo and behold, my subconscious got the message. I started immediately just my, it's like a program, you know? Like, you, we're all programmed. You know, like right now, for instance, if you wake up and drink tea, you know, like you're programming, you wake up, you're like, time for a cup of tea. So it became pretty soon, okay, boom. All right. We go for a walk. I'm like, all right, cool. Now that's second nature. You don't have to think about that anymore or visualize it or take it or think about it or reprogram your subconscious. I'm like, next, what do you want to do? Now we've integrated meditation. We've integrated uh, walking. Uh, I'm like, I want to take cold showers again. So I said, all right, let's go into the, into the lab. I call it the lab. Mm, binaural beats. All right, 15 minutes. Okay, everything's calm. I'm in the theta state. All right, Saeed, from now on, you're taking a cold shower every day the minute you wake up. So I installed a new program, which is before the walk, we take a cold shower. I installed it. Took me about a week to install it for my subconscious to receive it like deeply at a deep level. Lo and behold, now I don't think about taking cold showers. I don't think twice. Wake up, cold shower. Cold shower and then walk because it's, you know, the programs have been installed. So I recommend don't try to make changes all at once. It's overwhelming to the nervous system. It's overwhelming. The subconscious says, fuck you. It's too much. I don't, I can't, I can't all do all of this. I'm not doing any of it. Okay. One at a time. You make changes, small, steady, small baby steps, one at a time. And only move on to the next thing that you want to change in your behavior, in your life, in your habits. Once you feel the one habit you've been working with has been established as second nature. You know what I'm talking about. If you drink tea every day, it's second nature for you. You wake up and, and tea, you don't think about drinking tea. On and on. So once the program that you're working with has been totally installed, you don't have to put any mental energy into it. It's second nature, move on to the next thing. And it is so beautiful how much power we have. Because you could completely in one year of doing this and working with all the different aspects of your life, you can transform your life dramatically, dramatically through this process of reprogramming. But again, I cannot emphasize enough, work with one program at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not overwhelm your nervous system. Oh, I'm gonna take a cold shower. I'm gonna go for two walks a day. I'm gonna meditate two hours a day, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, talk to my mom every day, and I'm gonna talk to my brother every day, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna start creating videos every day, and I'm gonna make music. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Too overwhelming. Give yourself like a, a good year to work with all of these different programs. Just work one thing at a time, small things. Just, uh, I'm just install. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go for a for a walk every day now. Uh, every that's it. Just work with that. And as, as you do that, your willpower increases. You say, whoa, now I'm doing a walk and a cold shower and this and that. What else can I do? And then you all move on to the next thing that you want to change, the next program. You can transform yourself. You can install any program you want. Any program you want. You can, you're the architect of your life. You could just say, what do, I, what do you want to do with your day? Just arch make, it, make it happen. Any aspect of your life, any aspect of your life, you can change. But again, you cannot overwhelm your nervous system and your subconscious. You have to work with it a little bit at a little bit, one program at a time, one program at a time, one program at a time. And you can install, instill, and install like 
completely radically different programs than the, the previous ones, the pre-existing ones. But you have to work. It's not enough to grasp the knowledge and the wisdom at an intellectual conscious level. You Once you grasp it, you have to now take it into the subconscious mind and work with that subconscious. You could do anything. You could heal past traumas through this process. You could instill like, if let's say you, you're a resentful person, you do not have to be resentful forever. You could become a forgiving person by installing the program of forgiveness, by going through this process, by neural beats. How long? I didn't say how long. 30 minutes to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour, okay? Take the first 15 minutes to calm down the nervous system, get in that theta state, listen to the binaural beats, focus on them. And then I think 40 minutes is a good balance because you spend 15 minutes just in the process of calming. You allow the brain waves to do their thing and you allow your mind to calm and go into the theta state. Then you spend 15 to 30 minutes after to do what you want to do. Okay, and you could do this programming through various ways. You could do affirmations from now on. Let's use the, uh, the cold shower example. From now on, I am taking cold showers every single day when I wake up. From now on, you can just use that as an affirmation. Visualization, in my, in my experience, is even more powerful. You just visualize yourself. You're like, Let's say you always wake up like you're just feeling like groggy and drowsy, right? You visualize yourself, oh, here we go. Um, ah. But then you visualize yourself, you feel yourself like stepping up to that cold shower. Okay. You feel the uncomfortness of it and you visualize yourself taking it. Okay, you work with that. Guarantee you after a week of doing this, every day in that, in that meditation, you're doing it every day. Now, I meditate twice a day. The more the merrier, plain and simple. If you do this process now, the most powerful time to do it is when you wake up and before bed. Okay, I do both. I do, I, nowadays I meditate a little later because I've, got, I've installed these new programs so I don't have time to wake up and meditate. I still meditate twice a day. Now it's an afternoon meditation and it is an evening meditation. And I'm usually focused on one program, just one program. Right now I'm working with a different program because I've installed the cold shower, I'm taking two, two I do two walks a day, I meditate two hours a day, I, uh, I make videos now as you guys can see, I'm very regular. I'm working with different programs now and it's usually one program at a time and I work with it twice a day because I have two meditations. Okay, meditation is so powerful, binaural beats get you into this deep state, amazing. If you feel you're lacking creativity, I'm going to make a different video on how to be more creative. It's a similar process, I'll make a different video for that. Okay, but this guys, this is it. There's so many different ways, but I'm gonna guarantee you, if you do this, this way works. It fucking works. Okay, in that theta state that you get yourself in, when you're meditating and you're using the binaural beats, you can, oh, when you visualize something, you feel it. You, oh man, you feel it. You feel it. You're so receptive to new programs. Okay, so yeah, hopefully this was insightful. Um, I'm gonna make a video again. I guess I said to so how to be more creative uh, And yeah, so we'll make another video in the future how to be more creative and how do you how to use different ways because uh, Man they're like, you know, you can really unlock your you're a being full of creativity. You can unlock a lot. Okay, so that's about it uh, My sincere gratitude goes out to our generous donors who have just felt this incredibly benevolent calling to just you know support this channel via financial means i appreciate it guys thank you so much if you would like to do that if you've got the urge to do that i have a link for donations down below in the description and also i have a link uh for one-on-one -on -one consultations i do offer services one-on-one -on -one consultations so the link down below is in the description if you're interested and give us a follow on instagram okay go there's a link also everything is in the description guys okay i love you and i will see you in the next video